Behold, mercury thermometers. But where did they come from? Meet Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit, born in Poland in 1686. Daniel was always fascinated by natural science. At 16, he began training as a merchant, but he still conducted independent research, especially with temperature. He traveled extensively and became a glassblower by 1717. Eventually, Daniel started manufacturing thermometers. Like any other scientist, Daniel knew his work depended on precision, and measuring temperature requires two things. First, a reliable way of indicating a change in temperature. Second, a scale against which to measure these changes. But here's the problem. Neither of these things existed in the 18th century. Sure, people had been making thermometers for centuries, but they weren't precise. Daniel knew this, and he created several new types of thermometers. His first devices used alcohol, but the most famous of his thermometers used mercury in a glass tube. When the temperature rises, the heat forces the mercury up through a narrow bore. This bore is usually filled with nitrogen, or left as a vacuum. Yet this wasn't his biggest stuff of genius. In 1724, Daniel proposed a scale for measuring temperature, setting 32 degrees as the temperature of ice melting in water and the temperature of the human body at 96 degrees. This system wasn't perfect, but after a few readjustments, it became the world's standard method for measuring temperature.